So, so far, we've worked on our place value. We've worked on powers of 10, exponents. We've worked on a new way to multiply. We've worked on estimation. And this sort of all wraps it together. So let's take a look at our homework for the night. We're on lesson not 2.9. And your homework says, using multiples of 10 to estimate. Estimate how many meters Martin swims in June if he swims about 200 meters a day. So let's underline that, 200 meters a day. And there are 30 days in June. Show how you made your estimate. So... our estimate, 200 meters. So, 200 times 30. Two times three is six. And then I add my three zeros. About 6,000 meters in the 30 days of June. I put my answer right there. So number two says, Estimate how many days it would take Martin to swim 60,000 meters. Show how you made your estimate. This is where you might use division. You might create a box. Maybe some repeated addition to figure out how many now that we have the 6,000. All up to you. Make sure you do the bottom part. That's again, estimate and solve. Reminder. 1 through 4, round down, 5 through 9, round up when you do it. This is a short and sweet video. Um, like I said, for the bottom part, you have the 200 meters a day and the 30 days in June. That gives you 6,000. So now we need to figure out how to get to 60,000 meters. So that's adding one more zero to this. So if I do this, add a zero, and erase. How do I get there? How do I get to 60,000 meters when I'm going 200 meters a day? Good luck.